Hi, I'm Billy Bailey here at the Florida Cavern State Park. And this plant, or weed, depending on how you, you see it here, is Biden's uh, Alba or Biden's Pelosa. Taxonomically, they're very similar, if not the same plant. And uh, a weed is classified as an unwanted plant, so it really depends on uh, how you see it. If it's a, a flower, if it's a weed, you probably have them in your yard. They grow all over the place. But I'm going to tell you a few things you may not know about this. Did you know that this plant has been used for centuries for its edible and medicinal qualities? 200 years ago, in the summer months, when people couldn't really grow the turnips and collards and the mustards and the traditional greens, they would rely on this. It grows throughout the summertime. The leaves of this plant are not only edible, but they are full of uh, medicinal qualities. This plant has 40 known medicinal uh, qualities. It's an antibiotic, an antiseptic. Uh, it's great for respiratory health. It's actually, the flowers themselves are actually higher in antioxidants than blueberries are. The, uh, it's an anti-inflammatory. Traditionally, the leaves were taken to help with lower back pain, inflammation. It's good for joint health, and the list goes on. This plant is actually used worldwide. It's sold in health food stores under Biden's. The common name is shepherd's nettle or pitchfork weed. The name Biden's comes from Biden's is two part because the seed actually is split into two parts there and they will stick on your pants leg as you walk by. It's called a, a zoicotrophic, meaning that it will stick to your legs and is transported by animals as it goes around. But a very, very unique uh, weed or flower, however you want to see it. This is a prime example of a plant that you pull from around your flower bed or your garden to get it out of the way, whereas this plant actually has more nutritional and medicinal uh, benefits than anything you're growing in your garden to begin with. 